So today is Vlogmas Day 14? 14. <laughs> and it, it's, it's been a day. It's been like the cherry on top of the dumpster fire Sunday of 2017. <sighs> because of the FCC ruling on net neutrality, a ruling vote thing, betrayal of everything. <laughs> not gonna talk about it still got time to 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 you know do the thing where you make your voice heard and tell them that you know that it's short-sighted and ridiculous and short-sighted and actually g hurts them in the long run too i swear there's just a whole lot of cut off your nose to spite your face with these people yeah they, they saying these people is an overgeneralization too but it does seem like there's a lot of cut off your nose to spite your space so in addition to being vlogmas day 14 and just a sort of day it is also vastmas day three i didn't edit yesterday's video for vastmas so i'm going to insert that here now today is vlogmas day 13 that's a lot of vlogging and it is Vastmas Day 2. The, the second day of Vastmas gave to me, or we gave to Vastmas, is tag a vast cast crew or writer and tell them what they mean to you. Which is a really, 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 really hard thing to do because everybody who works on Vast, or works on Vast, everybody who plays Vast, everybody who writes Vast, ev everybody is just so important and so amazing for different reasons. So it, it, it's hard to like pick one person or even, you know, three people or yeah. This is hard. So we're going to do kind of a quick and dirty. The, 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 the three players and their characters and why they're important to me and no explaining, no expansive, just one, two, three. And I, I, I want to emphasize that everybody who is involved in Vast is very important and works really hard and we all love them dearly and desperately and the all of their brains are incredible and if you're not watching vast i don't know what to tell you it's hard to just pick three let alone just one but three is a good number three is a magic number we're gonna use three sam delove as Mar marisa dolce max isaacson as visionary destroyer <laughs> and john callan as Hansra Nehru, and I may have said that incorrectly. It's been a while since we've seen Hans. We haven't seen Hans since, you know, season one. <laughs> I miss Hans. I miss John. Sam is important because non-binary representation. In addition to their brain is just magnificent, and if I could just like sit and chat with them, for a while, I would be really, really excited. Max just, he does this thing with speeches that's really important. That, that's, they, 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 they're empathetic, they're wise, and they're, I will rip your face off if you screw with my, my friends and family. And it's amazing. And the fact that Max purposely took Visionary Destroyer down a path that turns her into a trans narrative and a really good one and of course it being displaced into a sci-fi rpg and being a giant space cockroach somehow makes it easier it's one of those things that as people we, we do we we displace our stories into genre fiction into other cultures into other places so that we can discuss things in a way that make people think to that get into their head and under their defenses so that they think and absorb and process and analyze before they get defensive and max playing visionary destroyer and visionary De destroyer becoming a trans narrative is extraordinarily important for those reasons and uh john callan he he is the I mean, they're all giant nerds. I don't get me wrong. I I, I think you have if you come to Vast, 
like we have all come to vast you have to be a giant nerd i think it's in the fine print but there's something about the way that john is a nerd that just you know one of the first things that was mentioned in in the out of character moments is that john likes to break jackson's games is interesting to me because that that's a level of intelligence and thinking that is really exciting to me. And then Hans is my totally socially awkward child of an alien from this, he's, he's a tall Klee, so highly advanced alien race with all the tech and the, they're basically little, little naked gray butts. They're, they're like the, the Asgardians. <laughs> they're like the Asgard from uh, Stargate, basically, except taller and there's some more evil to them but there's just something about how john as hans interacts with other characters and the way he connected connected and became friends with other characters which is really important because it's that that level of awkwardness and i don't know how to be people's friends but I am their friends, and I will ride or die. And even when other characters like Leuven, and this might be a good idea, and everybody else is not necessarily thinking of Hans as their friend, Leuven in particular, Hans is still there saying, if you hurt my friend, I will end you. And this, he says to Visionary Destroyer, who could, is, you know, 14 feet long and could just squish him like, <laughs> bad analogy, squish him like a bug. And th 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 there's something about that, that, that kind of level of bravery that's really important to me too. And that's another thing. It's like Sam and Max and John, all three of their characters have that level of bravery that we do what's right, not what's easy. Mind you, their version of what's right might not be your version of right, but that argument is still there. Okay, so the hmm, okay, so the prompt for Vastmas Day Three is share your favorite moment from season one. Now, okay, y'all, there's just the the there the, there's just too too many. I mean, like anything Visionary Destroyer is gonna make me really happy, and basically anything this might be a good idea is gonna make me extremely happy, especially good ideas. You know, I'm sorry I, like, set you on fire to Leuven. It's so hard to choose, but I think my favorite is Han... And I mentioned it in the Vast Day 2 thing when talking about Hans and John Callan. Callan is Hans basically telling Visionary Destroyer that if you hurt my friend, I will destroy you. And just the, the sheer audacity of the, the little squishy scientist going against the giant murder bug saying, you hurt my friend and I'm going to end you. And part of what makes that moment for me is Max's, Max's Visionary Destroyer's reaction of just like bemusement and pride. Like, like sure, you're going to end me, but I'm so proud we raised you up right. So yes, <laughs> that, that, that's... It's weirdly one of those quintessential moments of Vast for me where where <laughs> you see this growth in these characters and that they can be better than they thought that they could be and they can have connections that they never thought they could have. And the fact that Han still thinks of Leuven as his friend, even though Lu Leuven is very much the uh, no because she's angry, and I would love John Callan to be able to come back in season three and them have some sort of like thing and, and fix some of that. That would be really, really lovely, I think. So that is my Vastmas Day 3 favorite moment of season one if I had to pick one. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna go edit this nonsense because it's gonna be long and it's gonna be nonsensical. And there is, and tonight is the Critical Role like 115 episode roundup roundup yeah roundup uh question answer talks mock in a hybrid pre-recorded thing all the kids look very nice when they're dressed up they clean up well <laughs> but if there was ever a time for them to have on their jammies and to drink a lot this is the time and it's not 
So I, I'm kind of sad about that, just because it feels like the, this should be a, a, you know, cozy thing rather than a let's be all you know professional thing. They, they the longer they go, the more professional they're going to be, and that's going to be sad. All right, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna do a thing. I'm going to do other things, and I will see you all tomorrow with another vlogmas, another vastmas, unless I have another bad brain day, and then who knows what will happen. Courage.